Today's vehicle that we're going to be working on is a 2002 Chrysler Town & Country. Uh, she's got the 3.8 liter V6. The procedure will pretty much work from year models 2001 all the way up to 2007. And that includes both the Dodge Grand Caravan as well as the Chrysler Town & Country. There was a 3.2 liter that came out at one point, and the procedure for that engine will be the same as this 3.8 liter. It's, um, it's not too difficult, uh, so what I do is I'm going to show you some basic steps on how to get the plugs and the plug wires off. So with that, let's go ahead and move on to doing it. Now underneath the hood, uh, for very convenient purposes, you've got your emission sticker. Uh, this particular model actually has the year 2002, engine 3.8 liter, and what helps us out is it actually gives us the OEM spark plug part number, and then also, very important, spark plug gap. So we can verify our spark plugs that we're getting if we're going back with the OEM champions, and then second, we already know what the spark plug gap is, so when we're doing the tune-up, we'll already have that spec for us. So with that, we'll go on and move on to the next step. Uh, what I want to do is give you some pointers on how to do the plugs and wires on this particular van. Uh, this one has a 3.8 liter V6. It's not very difficult because you, you actually have room to reach around to the back of the block to get to the back three. Uh, so what I'll do is I'll start showing you the front three. And just remember that the back three are going to be similar to the front three. So when you're reaching around, now you're not going to really be able to see the plugs, but you'll be able to feel them. Uh, and you'll know about how far they're spaced over because it's all based off of the reference from the front three. Um, one thing that's kind of convenient is on the OEM coal pack, it actually has the positions of each cylinder written on the coal. So, for example, here's two, four, and six. If I look at the top of the coal, it's actually got it written two, four, and six. So, you know, correspond to the cylinders, which this is the front of the engine. On the left side is what they consider it left side but it's actually the front, you'll have two, four, and six. So uh, the back side the same way. It's numbered one, three, and five, and the positions are actually marked on the coal. So you can actually follow the wire down to that cylinder. So if you uh, take them all off and you get kind of confused which one's which, just locate the numbers on top of the coals and find the corresponding cylinders. What I usually like to use is a approximately four or five inch long extension as well as a typical 5 8 spark plug socket. Uh, another thing I like to use from time to time is I've got an old spark plug boot that can actually hold on to the plug and start it by hand. Also when I'm going to remove it I can do the same way. I can put the boot on the old plug, spin it out and carry it out myself. Um, so on the back side, it's just a matter of reaching around and finding the plug wire. And what you do is you'll give it a gentle rotation while you're kind of pulling out and getting it loose. Usually you won't have too many problems getting them stuck on, on free. But if you do, it's just a matter of pulling on. Just rotate it as I pull. Then I'm basically caught all the back three off. Uh, now to get to them, to the plugs, it's just a matter of reaching around. Feeling where the spark plug is. So if you get kind of confused, look at the front and you can tell basically where it is. And get on it with a 3 8 ratchet. And it gives me enough clearance to break it loose and get it out. And when you're going back, like I said, I usually use an old plug boot, put it in. And then once I've got all the plugs in, then I'll start worrying about where the wires go. Um, I haven't taken them off the coil pack, so when I do, I can actually pull them off one by one if I want go through the whole bundle of new replacements and find the one that matches that length. If they're OEM plug wires that you get from your local dealership, they'll can actually be numbered as well. They may say 246153. If they do, the job's a whole lot easier. You know, take your old ones off, throw them to the side. The new ones will be numbered. Just plug them into the number on the coil down to the particular cylinder that the plugs go on. Uh, it's nothing real difficult. Uh, on the previous year models, we had some issues getting to the back ones, but on this body style, there's no problem at all. You can reach around, you can get to all three of them, and then route your wires accordingly. Otherwise, pretty simple uh, repair, and once again, it's a simple solution. So, uh, uh, thanks for watching my videos, and always stay tuned for more.